So uh, the next talk will be given uh, uh, on online by uh, Prof. Ao Ping. So Prof. Ao Ping <coughs> is in uh, Shanghai University. Uh, he uh, received his PhD uh, in US, uh, working with uh, Tony Leggett. Uh, uh, and he, get his, he did his postdoc with uh, David and Soles, so two Nobel Prize, that's very good. So in quantum and topological physics, mainly. Then after he... Uh, uh, he moved uh, uh, to uh, biological system, and he studied many aspects of biological system. Uh, for example, such non-equilibrium dynamics in this uh, type of biological system. So, uh, Prof, how are you with us online? Yeah. Okay. Can yes. you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Is there any problem here? Uh, no problem. Good morning. Uh, so, your Good talk today will be uh, the Li Yang theorem, the foundation of discontinuity phase transition theory and its modern implication. Please, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. Your slides with us? Yeah, it's, uh, can you see my screen? Um, yes, you, you can go in full mode eventually. Okay. Uh, Presentation uh, mode, yes. I, I saw this, I've been. Uh, So if you go on the bar below, there is the presentation mode. Uh, I just couldn't find to, the sentence. Close to the zoom. Close to the zoom, there is a button. You have to click it on. Uh, but it's uh, OK. Oh, yes. Here, here, yes. Here. It's, uh, okay. OK, there we go. Perfect. Right? Thank you. OK. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Okay, uh, it's uh, really for me, it's a great honor to be here to speak on this uh, emo important moment. And I, I thank uh, the committee for the invitation. And what I'm going to talk about will be what uh, I think left by the previous speaker, I believe from a personal point of view, is one of the, again, one of the most important work done by Yan. And I hope you will be convinced uh, the, the work will be um, uh, done by Yang and Li in 1952, that's now uh, 70 years ago. Uh, my main purpose is a call for action, I hope. Uh, more people will join in to develop this work further. And fortunately today, I see this first speaker, the experimentalist, is already ahead of us. Okay, uh, I'm talking about the uh, phase transitions. Uh, by today, we only know three types of uh, main phase transitions. And uh, the first one is uh, discontinuous phase transitions, which have been known to humanity for over, I believe, 100 years, 100,000 years. So it's uh, uh, nobody can check the uh, written record on that, but it been, should be known to us for a long, long, long time. And the second type of a phase transition is called the continuous phase transition, known to us for about uh, 200 years, discovered uh, during the Industrial Revolution. The third one, the topological phase transitions, which occurred uh, in modern time, and first predicted theoretically in 1970s, about 50 years ago. So today, we only know three types of main phase transitions. So how to do that, uh, how to describe that uh, uh, quantitatively? Uh, before that, I just want to show you the, uh, the, the, the phase diagrams, no problem to everybody here, that's uh, water and ice, liquid, and uh, vapor. 
all those lines are the phase transition lines. And there's a continuous phase transition <laughs> sanctuary occurred here in this point called the critical point. And the topologic phase transition is not shown here, but that's not uh, our focus uh, uh, here. Now, say so really description, a quantitative de description. It started uh, in second half of the uh, 19th century. And probably everybody knows the three great guys, uh, James Maxwell, Ludwig Boltzmann, and uh, Gerard uh, Gibbs. So they started this with ideal gas and with no phase transitions. So they developed the, a theory, very humble, very humble study. Uh, then in about 100 years ago, Gibbs summarized from the his perspective and into a book called the uh, Elementary Principles of uh, Statistical Mechanics. And this was also the first time statistical mechanics have been came into literature. So he summarized uh, in his view what's going on. Then a few years later, and uh, Aaron Feist combined Gibbs understanding and uh, Boltzmann's uh, understanding, then formulated, uh, I think, uh, 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 those principles into our essay, uh, which form the, the core of our statistical mechanics textbook, even today, with the two main points. One, there is a canonical distribution that's related to Hamiltonian and uh, with the Boltzmann constant and the temperature. And then there's a partition function, which is sum over, over all the states. But Erufist believe phase transition should be described by partition function. Unfortunately, at that time, he didn't know how to do that. And nobody, and actually, most people won't believe it because as you can see, this uh, partition function is basically is the sum of uh, analytic functions, very, very smooth functions. So how could the discontinuity, like a phase transition, could be described by such a uh, uh, summation. Then that's what took uh, about uh, 20 years. And finds that I know the commerce proposed one should take uh, the similar dynamic limit. That means one should allow the system size and the system number simultaneously go to infinity. So that's, uh, to my knowledge, the first time the similar dynamic and let me name the can into literature. Again, and at that time, commerce didn't know how to carry out the similar dynamic limit. And the first significant attempt was done by, by Mayer, a professor at the University of Chicago. Then he used the similar dynamic limit, and then he showed the partition function can be used to, to describe two phases. And I should mention, and the Professor Mayer and the University of Chicago was also the statistical mechanical teacher of uh, Sing and Yang and T.D. Lee. But that's an approximation. So many people still remain unconvinced. Then came with the first example, exact example in 1944. Then Ansager solved the ISO model. We heard about the ISO model or, already in this meeting several times and with a similar dynamic limit. And that show there is a phase transition. That's again, take a few more years till 1952, uh, TDD and Sen Yang, now known as uh, Li Yang theory. And they laid down the exact theoretic foundation for the discontinu discontinuous phase transition. So that's a very important work. Then about 20 years later, Ken Wilson laid down the theory for continuous uh, phase transition. And then almost at the same time, 
Cosilus and Tholus then discover the, the topologic phase transitions. So you, one can see uh, from the humble study that it took physicists more than 100 years to, to get a, a, a complete uh, a theoretic framework. Okay, this is a schematic about uh, what uh, done by uh, Sayin Yang and the TDD in, in 1952. It's basically as uh, the show, of course, for finding the systems, that's n numbers is finite, that's an analytic function. No phase transitions, which means uh, there's no uh, zeros or, or roots of uh, this uh, function uh, in the in the real angst of uh, the variable. There's a uh, in physics called uh, fugacity. So finding system will be no phase transitions. All those zeros, the roots of this polynomial, will be lie in a complex plane of uh, of y. Only in the thermodynamic limit, in some under certain condition, the zeros will push down to the real angst. Then phase transition will occur. And of course, there will be, might be more phase transitions, then there will be more uh, real roots, zeros, and in the in the real angst, then there will be more discontinuity. So by now, I think uh, all advanced physics students should probably should uh, have learned this. Okay. Why this is important? I think uh, importantly is that uh, in theoretical sciences, like in physics, we need uh, uh, first need a reference point. So we need to firmly establish certain reference point. And also we need the cases to show this reference point is in principle theoretically achievable. So, so, um, so this, this has been solved by uh, Seng Yang and TDD in 70 years ago. I regard this to be one of the most important work of them. Of course, some people will argue and will mention and point out, as we look around, all the systems are finite. So this uh, related to another concept of emerging in physics. So once limiting procedure is established, then we can use this even to compute the finite systems. And it's important that emerging have been well reasoned by Phil Anderson again 70 years ago. Uh, no, sorry, 50 years ago. Now, with that, I think uh, by now, the statistical mechanics and the thermodynamics is one of the, probably the most beautiful field, a theory in physics. And I think uh, without the argument, with the broadest application in physics and in science, broader than any other physical theories. And, but of course, it's a mathematic challenge. And this important and uh, challenge have been well documented by, by these uh, uh, mon monographs, 20 volume mon monographs. And uh, to cite uh, Einstein, but in Einstein's view, very likely statistical mechanics and thermodynamics will never be overthrown. So if any uh, of young people in the audience, they can show there is a problem. Um, first, of course, you got to get a Nobel Prize. There's no question about that. And second, that won't be part of a permanent knowledge of uh, uh, in the humanity. But of course, Einstein won't think so. You will never be able to overthrow scientific mechanics and some of the dynamics. Now, what our, our hero today would say, and uh, 50 years ago, in the first article of this first volume of this mono, monographs theory, uh, as so in 
Singing Young, of course, he believed now uh, transition mechanics have a solid foundation. He wondered about uh, this further. He wondered about what would be his further questions one should do. And the natural question will be even now today is the, the brain dynamics, the group, brain of organization. And uh, I, I think it's my understanding. He even wondered the same principle might apply to the brain dynamics, to our own brain. So, it's, uh, so he said that will be the task of the next few decades. And I may address this wondering in a positive way. And uh, during the last 20 years, I think our work show indeed the statistical mechanics principle, we call the free energy principle, indeed should apply to, to brain. And uh, we have not worked out uh, a system yet, but uh, for a simpler system, which for the uh, how cancer study and the uh, progress, and we work out use the uh, uh, statistical mechanics principle. And we get a lot, lots of a, a beautiful result in agreement with uh, a clinic and uh, experimental observation. Now, one may wonder again is what uh, discovered by Sengen Yang and the TDE in the, uh, a theoretic uh, uh, curiosity for that particular system. I think, fortunately, thanks to the experimentalist effort, I think by now, a few years ago, we got the first experimental confirmation about those zeros, those, uh, of those polynomial, the roots, and which is, can be now observed experimentally. So the first paper was reported in a physical review later about seven years ago, then five years ago, in a superconducting system, this has been again we have been been shown that's a data. Uh, we get a very good agreement with uh, theoretical prediction, and uh, there have been a few further proposals which this can be done, and even this can be combined to what uh, citizens are described by uh, uh, Professor Mayer in of the University of Chicago. They come to the droplet to the meta stability. I think there's some being proposals. This probably can be tested, but the question is: by now, even the simply purely theoretical curiosity of uh, uh, zeros have been now have been checked experimentally. So for this, I will come to my uh, final slides. I think by now. As could be seen, there's amazing simplicity and a deep unity in physics. We have uh, four fundamental interactions uh, in physics. Three of them related to the theoretic description related to young Mills field. That's a uh, four fundamental interactions. And then there are only three fundamental phase transitions in, in physics. And uh, almost all of them, except the, the first discontinuity, they can be award, rewarded by Nobel Prize. So we hope more people will join in and also see Yang will become more productive years. So we'll, maybe we'll witness another miracle. Thank you very much for your attention. That's, the, that's what uh, I want to say. Okay, thank you very much, Professor uh, Au. So uh, let's uh, have some questions in the audience. Raise your hand. Or you can use also uh, the Slido. Okay, so um, I have uh, uh, some questions already come up. So the uh, the first question is, how far has C and Young's 
experience lead to recent discovery of our internal body clock and how will such experience be uh, utilized in the future to understand how human react to the forthcoming of death and way to reduce the likelihood of death. I you say again? I'm, I'm, I, I, I think I have quite a country after so, what is, what is the, the, the question we we'll, so, we'll so, ask. So the question is about, I mean, the uh, 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 CN Young uh, experience uh, that lead to a uh, recent discovery of internal body clock. Do you have any idea on that? Internal body clock? Um, unfortunately, no, no, I, I couldn't answer this question. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I have another question for you. Uh, how would our understanding of phase transition theory be applied in the discovery of currently unknown astrophysical and quantum phenomena in the future? Uh, that's actually, um, in a way, the first speaker already answered. So, there will be many, many major stable states. And uh, if, if one regards the transition between made stable state and surface transition, then that uh, means uh, Li Yang theory will come into play in a sure way. Okay, thank, thank you. So I, yes, go ahead, please. Sorry. Yeah, I hope this has been answered the, the, the question. Yeah, I, I guess so, yes. Uh, uh, other questions? Okay, so if there is no more questions, let's uh, uh, thanks uh, Professor Howell again. Thank you very much for being yeah, with thank us. Thank you very much.